Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a paint by number drawing in Paintology using a faster and easier approach. Unlike many paint by numbers apps out there, Paintology uses a unique method of drawing in the colored regions. We first load the paint by numbers, which we can find in the paint by numbers category under the video tutorials. From the home page of Paintology, First go to Video Tutorials and click on Paint by Numbers category and open this category. You will find the Paint by Numbers entry of the landscape drawing that I will show you in this video. Click on this and it will open up the drawing on your drawing canvas. You will first land on the Video Tutorials. Just click on the toggle button to go to your drawing canvas. Instead of relying on the numbers for this drawing, as is previously done, we are going to pick out colours in the numbered region using the colour picker of Paintology. The way the colour picker works is based on where you place the marker on the trace bar. If your marker is on the top half of the trace bar, you will select colours from the reference image underneath. If you position the marker below the halfway mark, the colour picker will focus on the colours that you put down on your drawing canvas. In this way, you can select all the colours in the underlying reference traced image and carry this into your drawing on your canvas. The approach I'm going to show you relies on the colour picker and allows you to do paint by numbers quickly and easily, especially when there are many numbered regions such as this landscape example. This is one of the advantages of using the digital medium to create paint by numbers, owing to the versatility of this medium. You will notice that throughout this drawing, I am just trying to fill the coloured regions of the same colour as fast as possible, without worrying about the exact edge definitions. For smaller numbered regions, I simply zoom in and pick the colours from the colour picker palette, or use the colour picker to locate the exact colour. I maintain the marker on the trace bar just above the midpoint so I can see the underlying image and my drawing canvas. But it allows me to select the underlying colours and see my drawing at the same time and be quick in the process of picking colours and applying it. I usually keep one standard brush size but you can increase the brush size to lay down colours more quickly on the larger regions. This is typically what we do in traditional paint by numbers using oils or acrylics and vary the brush sizes that we have supplied with the kit. Once I covered the whole regions with the colours, I slide the trace bar to the bottom to see my entire drawing and check for any missing regions which I add the colours and continue to apply the colours. In the third step, I do something which is not typical of most paint by numbers drawing techniques. I essentially use my eye to fill small parts of the painting with colours where I feel it would enhance the overall composition. You could miss this step and just continue to fill in with the exact colours that are missing until you complete the whole painting. However, since I'm already comfortable painting and drawing in freehand, I use my eye to dab areas of colours to remove the tiny mist regions of white and also accentuate some areas. For example, the areas around the bushes, trees and the path. So with some experience, you'll be able to enhance any paint by numbers drawing in this manner. Try out the other paint by numbers on Paintology and send me your feedbacks and comments below if you have any further suggestions or ideas for a drawing. Don't forget to give the thumbs up and subscribe so I can continue to bring you more great videos in this world of digital drawing. Happy drawing and painting and hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.